Hi, I'm Judy. Welcome to Go Within Yoga and your Thanksgiving practice. Doesn't matter if you celebrate Thanksgiving, we're giving thanks all November long and this is the last November practice and we're going to wrap it up with a little bow and do things just a little bit differently today. I'm going to pull a card actually. I'm going to pull three cards. Three. <laughs> And one can be an affirmation for the day, one can be an affirmation for the month, one can be an affirmation for the year. It can be anything you want. Remember, this is your practice and you can customize it as feels right to you. Now this practice is going to be getting into our heart and lung meridians and we're going to be targeting the heart, the diaphragm, armpit arms, wrists, and shoulders. All good things. Um, my affirmation that I'm going to offer you, and I will mind you as we move through this practice, is I love and am grateful for, and you fill in the blank. You can do it multiple things, and you can pick one thing that you really love and feel grateful for. And I'm also going to offer this little saying it's not about having what you love, it's about loving what you have. And that's something I need reminding of very often. I can have a tendency towards a little materialism to, you know, all the gathering up all the things. Um, so I need that little reminder sometimes as well. And we're going to set our intention, and as I said already, that's Thanksgiving, it could be really getting into that upper body with your yin yoga practice. And I'm now going to go ahead and pull some cards. And you can either watch me, you can be laying down on your back, relaxing, whatever you feel like. Um, it's been a while since I've pulled any cards, actually. These are Cassandra Reinhardt's The Art of Abundance Affirmation Back deck. I'm not sure that she sells it anymore. This was a long time ago. Um, and she's closed up her Art of Abundance class, as a matter of fact. So I just go ahead and sort of shuffle. <laughs> just move the cards around, face down, and put them in front of me on my bed. You can be on a mat, of course. And then I just smooth them out. They're a little slippery, so they're going all over the place. And I close my eyes and I take my hand and I just begin to move my hand across the deck. And when I feel something, I will pull a card. And there's one. Now if you do this and you don't feel anything, no worries, just pick a few cards. And there's our third. Okay, put the others back before I turn them over and read them. And then I'll keep them around so that we can revisit them during Shavasana. So the first card says, I celebrate my inner and outer beauty. And I love that. That's a great one for the day. I am worthy of love success and happiness. I love that too. Great one for the month. And the last one is I allow myself to experience pleasure. And that one's actually a good one for me as well. Um, I can get a really caught up in the have to's and there's a lot of them even without kids. <laughs> and so I don't know about you but that might be something you need a reminder of as well. So let's begin and get very centered, very grounded. Go ahead and take your hands to your heart. Close your eyes if it feels comfortable and safe for you to do so. Or just let your gaze become a bit unfocused. Begin to breathe in and out through your nose. And soften your forehead. 
And allow your jaw to soften. Allow those shoulders to relax down. And on your next inhale, I'd love for you to imagine a golden healing light, healing light, coming in through your crown chakra at the top of your head. So inhale, the light comes down into the crown chakra, down through all the chakras, down all the way to the soles of your feet. And on your exhale, comes up the back of your body and then back out through the crown of your head. So just keep inhaling like that for a few moments. Feeling that healing light sweeping through your body. Bringing in fresh energy, letting go of stale energy that could be creating dis-ease in your body. Feeling that healing golden light filling your whole body. Every muscle, every organ, every cell. And now let that go. And slowly blink your eyes open and allow your hands to relax. We're going to begin our practice today with some wrist, wrist stretches. <laughs> so go ahead and take your right hand and stretch it straight out. Take your left hand and begin to pull the right fingers towards your arm as much as you can. Feeling a stretch over your wrist. And then go ahead and flip that so that your fingers are pointing up like that. And take your left hand and begin to gently press back on the fingers. So I'm getting a wrist stretch in the other direction. left arm, stretch that out, and bend that wrist so that the fingers are pointing down. Take your right hand and begin to bring your fingers as close as is comfortable to that lower arm, lower forearm. And just bend your wrist the opposite way. Fingers are now pointing up. Take the right hand and press the left fingers back towards your forearm as much as feels comfortable to you. shake your arms out a little bit. I'm going to annoy Bandit now. He's going to move over because I'm going to come and you're going to come to lay down on your stomach. I need to scooch down a little bit. Yes, buddy. 
And go ahead and take your right arm and stretch it out so it's coming straight out from that right shoulder. You can't see it, but <laughs> right out. Bring your head down to your mat. Hopefully you can hear me. Bring the left palm about shoulder height. Bend your left knee, which you also can't see. And then go ahead and bring that left leg up and over to the right. <laughs> uh, my foot landed on Bandit, and he's staying for a moment. I don't think he'll stay for long. If this feels like too much, you don't have to bring your left... <laughs> Sorry. Your left foot over your behind you. You can just bend both knees in front of you. So kind of a half fetal position. And just relax into the pose. I love and am grateful for I love and am grateful for Bandit, even though he requires a lot of time these days. He doesn't have to be a person. You might be grateful for your health. You might be grateful for your house, for clean water, healthy food, for nature, for the seasons, anything big or small. And then slowly unwind, bringing everything back to the center. Taking a brief pause in the Cobra pose. Before we come to the second side. So I'm taking my left hand out this time. Now you can see it. I'm going to take my head down to my bed or mat. Hopefully I'm not going to fall off here. I might. And then I'm taking. I'm taking my right leg, bending it at the knee, and then bringing it over the left leg. Last couple of breaths here. And then slowly come back to your stomach. Lay on your front body. Bend the elbows out to either side. Put one hand on top of the other. 
And go ahead and bring your forehead onto your hand. Last breath. And then begin to raise your head. And simply come up onto your forearms. You might want to bring your elbows a little bit away from your body or not. It's your choice. Coming into Cobra Pose. Allow those shoulders to relax. And can drop down if that feels good to you. I love and am grateful for relax those shoulders. Make sure you're not really going too far on your neck. Really looking up, you don't need to. Relax the shoulder blades, see if they're creeping up towards your shoulders. Last couple of breaths here. 
and then just briefly come back down elbows out to the sides again one hand on top of the other and allow your forehead to rest on your hand Notice if you feel energy moving in your body. You can feel like a tingling, a pulsing. It shouldn't feel like pain. Push into those elbows, go over towards one side, and slowly come up into a seated position briefly. If you have blocks with you, I'm going to suggest that you grab a couple of them. I'm going to be using my pillows instead of blocks. The first thing I'm going to do is sit up on the edge of that pillow. And then I'm going to take my legs out to either side, so a straddle position. And I'm going to grab the second pillow, in your case it may be the second block, and I'm going to put that in front of you because we're going to do eagle arms while we're in dragonfly <laughs> pose. So inhale, stretch the arms out. Take your left arm in front of your heart, Bend the elbow. Take your right arm. Your all right. I didn't didn't marry you here. <laughs> your right arm underneath the left, and bring your palms together, raising your elbows up about shoulder height, if that feels comfortable for you. And if you'd like, you can bend forward and use your block or your pillow. To rest on. I'm actually finding that it's more comfortable for me to stay upright, so I'm going to go ahead and put that aside. Last couple of breaths here. And the legs remain where they are. Hands come out into a T. And I am taking my right arm in front of my heart, bending the right elbow. So you know, on the screen, it's going to look like my left arm. And then I'm taking my left arm underneath and bringing that left hand around towards the right hand, obviously. That's an area of constriction for me. So you may get a lot closer to having your palms of your hands together, or you may not. Another option is to give yourself a hug holding on to your shoulders. Last couple of breaths here. The 
release your arms, let them come down by your shoulders. <laughs> Go ahead and bring your legs straight out in front of you. And just pause. Just really go inside. Notice what you're feeling physically, emotionally, energetically. And if you have a bolster with you, go ahead and put it vertically on your mat or bed. I'm going to use two pillows. One would probably work. You know what? I'm going to use one pill. Two pillows is a bit much, quite frankly. <laughs> okay. Let me put this back where it belongs, and I will use this one pillow. Okay, vertically on your mat, you can pretend that's a bolster, it could be rolled up blankets. I'm going to take my hips so that they are just in front of the end of my pillow, insert bolster, and then I'm going to drape my back all along the bolster, allow my feet to come a little bit wider than a little bit narrower than hip distance and my arms to come out to the sides. At least I could have been, it wasn't in the way. Another option is to take your arms out to a T. And another one that can feel nice is to stretch your arms back. And we spend a lot of time hunched over our gadgets. So we need to reverse that posture. I love and am thankful for And as you settle into the pose, just check in with your breath. If it's become rather shallow and choppy, maybe that disarm position isn't for you. Maybe you want them down here by your side. Our breath is always the key to how we're doing. As much as possible, we want it to be deep and smooth in yin yoga and through our nose.
Notice if you feel something that's tensing up. And if you can relax, I can send some breath there. For your last minute in supported fish pose, if you'd like, you can return to that breath we used in the beginning of this practice, inhaling golden healing energy through the crown of your head, through all seven chakras in the center of your body, down your legs to the soles of your feet, from the soles of your feet back up the back of the body and out through the crown chakra. Really notice your breath in the back of your body, how the ribs come apart as you inhale and come back together as you exhale. The last couple of breaths here. And if your arms are over your head, Slowly bring them back down by your body. Bend your knees, bring the soles of your feet together. And just roll gently towards one side. Remove the bolster. Or block, whatever you have beneath you. And come to lay down on your back. And bring one knee in towards your chest and the other knee in. Maybe wrapping your hands around those knees. And just, once again, notice where any energy happens to be moving. We're only here for about a minute. And last breath here. And then just bring your feet back to your better mat and stretch them down towards the end of the mat or bed, allowing your arms to come slightly out from your body, coming into your Shavasana. Let's go ahead and do a body scan before you relax and settle deeply into Shavasana. Starting at your feet, just noticing how they feel. Your ankles. Lower legs. Knees. Upper legs. Glutes, sacrum, navel center, heart center, up to your shoulders, and down your upper arms, elbows, lower arms, wrists. hands, 
in the throat and your head. Allow yourself to settle in and let go a little deeper into Shavasana. Maybe bringing that intention you set at the beginning back to mind. Physically, we're really worked on our upper body to make space so that we can breathe deeply and have good immunity going into the winter season if you're in the northern hemisphere. And we're also celebrating Thanksgiving today. Really, we should celebrate Thanksgiving every single day. And we've been celebrating it this entire month on this channel. Using the affirmation, I love and am grateful for. And now just relax into silence until you hear me speak again. Know that you are safe and you are secure. And if you choose, give yourself the opportunity to stay in Shavasana for as long as feels right in your body. But if you need to move back out into your day, allow your breath to deepen. Noticing the quality of the space that surrounds you. The clothes that are touching your body, the bed or the mat beneath you holding you safe begin to take any small movements you need to come back into this present moment. Maybe moving your head from side to side, circling wrists and ankles. Then in your own way and in your own time, find yourself coming back into an easy seated position. Giving yourself thanking yourself for taking this time for you, knowing that taking this time for yourself is going to make you a better partner, a better mother, a better community member. It just makes you a better person all around when you refill your cup fully. Inhale, bring the palms of the hands together in front of your heart, slightly bowing your head over your hand. 
May you be healthy. May you be happy. May you be free from pain and suffering. And may you always be thankful for the things that you have. And go ahead and take in the better mat. And then some raising your head. Taking in the rest of the room, allowing your hands to fall into your lap. You just want to re-grab those cards that I pulled at the beginning of this practice. You may want to write these affirmations down. I celebrate my inner beauty, inner and outer beauty. And I said you could use that for today. I'm worthy of love success and happiness. That might be a great affirmation for this month, or this coming month, since we're at the end of the month. I allow myself to experience pleasure. So important. Something that we too often ignore. We too often ignore our own needs. I wish you a very happy Thanksgiving if you are celebrating that. And if not, I wish you a great rest of your day. If you enjoyed this practice, please click the like button to help other people find these kind of yin yoga practices. And if you'd like to practice with me again, go ahead and click the, click the subscribe button and the bell. And I'm also laughing because I am covered with bandits fur. <laughs> Those of you who have dogs probably can empathize with that. One last thing I was going to point out, I chose to bring one of my, oops, <laughs> one of my diffusers in, it's okay buddy, with me, and I know you can't read what it says, or I'm pretty sure you can't read what it says, but it says radiate positivity, so as you go back into your day, that's another great affirmation, to radiate positivity positivity, smile at people that you meet, compliment complete strangers, do something kind for a loved one. Thank you so much for joining me today.